everybody, this is Adam Gusso from uh, Modern Blues Harmonica. And if you found your way to this video, then you are a fan of the Geico commercial featuring uh, the Louisiana harp man Lazy Lester. And um, the riff caught my ear. The first time I heard it, I heard it on, on uh, the radio actually, Sirius XM. It's, it was one of those channels. And I said, what's that? Now, you know, that, that riff, is, uh, it's been around for decades. It's been around forever. And it's so great when a major advertiser decides they want to put, uh, not only put harmonica in a commercial, but put a harmonica player in a commercial, much less an old school harmonica player like little Lazy Lester. Anyway, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you how to play that riff. And let me just say, uh, I like the way that Lazy Lester plays it. I don't think it's optimized the way that he plays it. So I'm actually going to show you two ways of doing it. I'm going to show you something closer to what he's doing, and then I'm going to add some of the dirt that I put in there when I did it just now. And um, no, I'm not trying to diss Lazy Lester, but uh, it's a great riff, and I'm going to give you the best possible version of it. Let's start easy. So you need a key of C harmonica. That's a, I use a Hona Marine band, so make sure you got that. That's the basic 10-hole diatonic harmonica. Um, and so one thing that the first part of this, I'm going to give you the simplified version. In fact, I should play the simplified version of the first riff, which is going to sound like this. So what did I do there? What note did I start on? Well, first of all, every note that I play... No, not every note that I play. I mean, there's a blow note in there. I was going to say every note's a draw note, but actually not. It uses a really cool thing, a little back and forth thing. So we start on the three-hole draw. Count up from the bottom. There's three-hole. You're going to start, and it's just going to be open. There's no bend. There's no... You're not flatting it out. You're just hitting that bent, th that straight three-hole. Then you go to four blow. That's, those are the first two notes. Three draw, move over one hole and blow. Now, the cool move is that you slide back to three and you hit three blow. Now, if you didn't know this, you might try to do it all on draw notes and it wouldn't be as smooth. You got that? The first three. Three draw, four blow, three blow. Now, three draw again. That's the fourth note. Can you figure out what the fifth note is? It's the two draw. So you, Now that makes use of something interesting in the harmonica, which is that the three blow and the two draw are the same note. But you might not have realized that if you're a beginner. And this riff is a, a beginner riff. You can actually... Now, the other thing is the beat. I got my... Uh, I got some sandals here. So that's what I'm working with. Some sandals on the porch. Um, and we're gonna, I'm just gonna tap my foot. The other key thing about this riff is the way that you count it is you go a uh, four and a uh, one. So the last note's actually the downbeat of the, of kind of bar one, if that makes sense. Ba da 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 one. That's how you count it, a uh, four and a uh, one. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. That's your count off, your kind of lead in. One, two, three. Two, three, and so that what you do is after you've done the riff, if you want to get it, let me pause for the cause. In the Geico insurance commercial featuring Lazy Lester, he and the gecko get into a kind of weird passive-aggressive thing because he's intentionally not trying to find the flow. The gecko tries to find the flow, and every time the gecko starts to talk, Lester plays, right? So that's the funny thing about it, but in reality, if you're playing it in a blues context, you wouldn't be trying to mess up the lizard. <laughs> Does that make sense? Don't mess up the lizard. Keep a steady groove. So you go one, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. That's the first part. Now, let me add the hard... Well, I'll show you the second part, but I can't really simplify that, and you do need to know how to bend. So the second part that he does is or some version of that. Now, he fudges it a little bit. He may not do all of those notes. He might do it like that. That's not fudging it. That actually sounds good. So there's two different ways. And what am I doing there? Well, the key thing is I'm hitting the five draw. It's actually called the flat seventh. I'm hitting it as a single note. Let's see. So. So the first note's the five draw, then I'm going 
four draw band, four draw, four draw band, three draw, two draw. And then I hit the two draw again. So if I go really slow, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Now, let's go back to that first, so that's the second riff, and that demands a bend, a bend four, and so if you're a beginner, you can't do that. If you're an advanced beginner, you're working on it. If you're an, inter if you're an intermediate, you should be able to do that, and, and to make it sound that smooth, I've been playing for 44 years, so it takes a couple of decades to get the smoothness for you. Three to five years, okay? Um, let's go back to that first riff, and let me tell you why I think that Lazy Lester's version didn't quite optimize it. There's a little more dirt to be put in, but it requires you to do one specific thing. So instead of two, three, what I'm going to do is on the three draws, the three draws, there's two of them. So that, it starts with a three draw, and it has that one. There's two three draws. On each of those three draws, I'm going to bend the note slightly, and I'm going to jam it together with the four draw. Call it three quarters, three draw, one quarter, four draw, sort of, a little more of the three draw. And I'm going to bend the four draw a little, but basically I'm bending the three and letting the four sneak in from the side and come along for the ride, which that sounds like it rhymes. I just made that up right now. Sneak in from the side and come along for the ride. So instead of, it's going to sound like this. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Now, now, there's two tricky things here. One is simply getting that three to sound like that. Hear the difference between the unarticulate, just the plain old three? And it's much grittier, much dirtier. And I'd urge you to go back to that Geico commercial, listen to Lazy Lester, see if he does that. He may throw in a little bit of that there. Not enough for my taste. I like a little more spice up here in North Mississippi. He's down from Louisiana. We, we like it really spicy and dirty up here. The tricky thing is that you don't want any, you, you want single notes on every other note. So, so that's the hard move to go. I'm, I'm lip pursing, I'm not tongue blocking. If you tongue block, it's a different challenge. Let's not even talk about that. L Lazy Lester is, is lip pursing, as far as I can tell. Two, three. Now, do you hear how every note, other than those three draws with four, little four added in, every other note is straight, it's unbent, it's just straight on. And that's tricky, because you've got to apply a lot of force to get the three draw dirty and spiced up. And yet, the moment you slide to the four blow, or the moment you slide back down to the two draw, you don't want any bending energy at all. It's got to be completely unbent. And that's the trick. That's the trick. I mean, that's really the whole thing. So let me do, I'm going to do that upgraded first lick, and then I'm going to alternate it with the second lick. And that's, if you go back to the commercial, you'll see that that's what he does. And he does, again, sort of little variants. Um, I ain't saying he's sloppy, but he does little variants. sloppy there. Maybe it's bluesy if it's sloppier. Maybe it's bluesier if it's sloppy. You know, and then the gecko just is about to... And he gets... He gets interrupted, and just as he's about to start, just as he's about to start, Lazy Lester messes him up. Anyway, that's it. Again, I'm Adam Gusso with Modern Blues Harmonica. If you enjoy playing the harmonica, I've got a lot of other stuff on this channel, on my other channel, and on my website, modernbluesharmonica.com. Have a great day, man. Have a great day.
You know, I hate to admit that I'm wrong. It just goes against my nature. But I've gone back since recording the lesson that I've just given you guys, and uh, I've listened to the Geico commercial probably 50 times, just trying to check the lesson that I taught versus what was actually happening, and I think I've misrepresented Lazy Lester. Because that 18 seconds in which he's doing riff one, riff two, riff one, riff, riff two, 18 seconds of perfection in which he basically messes up the the green gecko. He, he's got a whole lot more dirt than I gave him credit for, and honesty forces me to admit that. So I think I was trying to, you know, say basically that he was doing and that I was going to dirty it up and go but really he was going well sort of like that damn it so he deserves your views. Go and, you know, just put Gecko, uh, Geico Harmonica into YouTube and watch that first 18 seconds. Oh, I say, I have to... He always does that. Something like that. 